When it comes to groceries, Corinne Bamba likes to shop around. And I know which store has which, and I watch pricing. And she has plenty of options, from the traditional grocery store to those that specialize in organic foods, to discount department stores, even drug stores. If I need milk, eggs, little things like that, I think it's great. There is a food revolution going on. It's a war, really. And this revolution is taking us across all spectrums of food, all spectrums of retail, from, from the very biggest at Walmart to the very smallest mom and pops. And uh, that revolution is going to have some collateral damage. For John Zagara, whose grandparents opened Zagara's Marketplace in 1936, the revolution is a challenge. But he's meeting that challenge by stocking his store with all the different kinds of products his customers want. Trying to switch the shelves without upsetting one set of customers to try and take care of another. It's the consumer who's winning this food war, according to John Carroll University marketing professor Tom Bonda, because there are so many choices in price, quality, and shopping venue. You can go into a very Aldi's, which is as bare as you can be, or a Market District Trader Joe's, which is this higher look, this higher feel. And you get to choose what you, where you want to shop and what level you want to shop at. I'm overwhelmed by the number of choices um, and also love it.